You can actually see a line. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we are doing a first impressions and review video on two products, not just one, but two products. Like, wow, it's a double whammy. How awesome is that? Today we are trying out the our newest cashmere complexion foundation and concealer line. I just finished reading up on some of the ingredients and I'm pretty excited to try this out. As always, I don't open the products ahead of time, partially because I want you to see my impression, my first impression when I open the products be like oh oh look at these and then also just because <laughs> I don't have time but these are the two products that we are trying out today so not only is Avon offering this new foundation in an astounding 30 different shades yes you heard me right 30 different shades that's incredible with of course different tones for warm neutral and cool in addition the foundation is also vegan so for all the vegan viewers out there this product is for you it also has antioxidant benefits it's supposed to help even your skin tone blur lines and have a lightweight but 24 hour long lasting wear i'm not gonna wear it for 24 hours unless of course i fall asleep with it on tonight but we are going to definitely test it out it's supposed to be comfortable on your skin it's supposed to be a medium to a full coverage foundation as you know i don't normally wear full coverage foundation when i do wear foundation so it's going to be an experience for me to learn how to use this product properly but let's try and give it a go if i make a mess of my face hey you can do it alongside with me oh hey it says on the box here that you can also do a sheer coverage so i'm guessing that you can actually like really build it up what i find really exciting is that it's infused with vitamin e which we've heard of before but two products i've never heard of before and maybe it's just because i'm not with the times butterfly lavender and artichoke extract so i was like why would you put butterfly lavender in a skin product besides maybe making it smell nice? So according to the Herbal Dynamic Beauty website, lavender products for skincare specifically has both antibacterial and anti-inflammatory benefits. So in addition to the antibacterial properties, which means that it helps to fight bacteria and it help clear out your pores, lavender is also supposed to help calm your skin and reduce the swelling. So if you have a like an acne, like I have right here right now, so it could help to reduce the swelling from things such as your acne. The other thing is that lavender has been reported to be good for minimizing the appearance of scars. Therefore, it's useful for the healing of skin after a acne breakout or a blemish. This next piece of information I am getting from stylecraze.com and it is stating that artichokes are super rich in antioxidants, which means that it can help to improve skin health. And it's also really rich in vitamin C, which is a huge contributor to healthy collagen development, so the elasticity of your skin. I am going to test out the foundation before I test out the concealer, and I'm going to do half of my face again because you guys seem to like that in the last video that I did. Ooh, oh, I like the frosted glass. It's very pretty. And it is glass. So it's the cashmere complexion. This one here is in marshmallow. So it might be it might be a little bit light, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it because I can always exchange it if I find that this color is too light for my skin. The marshmallow one is in the light category and it's for people with light skin with yellow undertones now i i'm pretty sure i do have yellow undertones i like how sleek this bottle is it will look very pretty on my new mantle can you see very pretty but usually closer to the back so it, i don't knock it over because i am clumsy like that avon is saying that this foundation is great for people who want the look of flawless skin without feeling dry or looking cakey and also people that are looking for a foundation formula that won't settle into lines i've never met anyone who actually wants their foundation to settle into lines it has also helped to keep your skin hydrated during the day. But however, I always use moisturizer. I am a moisturizer fanatic and I love skincare. So my face is now moisturized. Little tip, make sure you let your skincare products settle into your skin before putting on foundation or it could possibly pill. All right, so I have put it on now for maybe about 10 minutes. So it should be pretty good. And we are, once again, I'm going to say we're going to do one half of my face. Oh, wait, okay. I thought it was a pop-off cap. It's not. It is a screw-off cap. That's how I'm like. Ah. Oh, it comes with. Oh, it comes with the one. That's so awesome. I really like that. 
That's interesting. I don't even know how to explain the scent of it. But look at this applicator. It's like a ginormous <laughs> doe foot applicator. All right, so let's test out the formula first. Oh, it's not bad, actually. It's actually, it might work for my skin tone. I might have picked the right one. Huh. All right, let's dab it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might have actually really picked the right one. Okay. So it spreads really easily. Pretty much invisible already. Wow. It dried to a really nice finish. So let's take a peek at my face first. So here I am. Here's my complexions. You see, I have some redness. I have some freckles. And of course, I have under eye circles. I have a five month old. But however, last night I got really good sleep. So this is why I'm so peppy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn my light on and I have a little bit of a breakout situation here right now, but that's okay. So we're gonna do this side of my face, the right side of my face. So let's dab this on and then take my beauty blender and let's blend. Wow, it's really, really, really blendable. I wanna see how buildable this is. So this is one layer. And even with one layer, I think it dries to finish really quickly. With one layer, it just kind of has a nice sheer coverage. I wouldn't call this a medium coverage yet. I would probably just call this a sheer coverage. But that's one layer. I do like how easily it blended in. And all it did, it, it covered up a bit of the redness. And it just kind of evened up my skin tone a little bit. So you can just, you can still see like the natural freckles on my face and stuff like that. So it's not like slapped on. So let's try layer number two now. How many layers will I go? There's a reason why I'm a dancer and not a singer. <laughs> I don't know if I'm putting these in the right spot, guys, but this is what we're doing. It kind of goes on kind of cool, which is interesting. Okay, what I would say, because it is pilling a little bit, do not slide. You want to dab this in and also probably let it, dry a little bit more yeah it's better once i tap tapping is definitely a lot better because you don't want the pilling i'm not going out today so i mean i could do as many layers as i want <laughs> i'm gonna get some funny looks from my husband that's layer number two now with two layers it definitely has a heavier coverage it still feels really lightweight like it doesn't i i don't feel anything on my skin like so it doesn't feel heavy which is which is good. It takes more time, but I mean, it's just because I'm doing two layers. Now let's do layer number three. Oh. 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 I haven't had such a full coverage foundation since my days dancing in Westport, where they insisted for us to wear pancake makeup, which literally was like a super full face makeup. It came like a cake and then you added water to it. And yeah, that's stuff I did not. I did not enjoy. Maybe that's where I, my fear of full coverage makeup is. However, oh my gosh, you can't see anything. Wow. Like it is gone. It is hidden. It is invisible. I'm like, dancing name on lady. This is probably the most dramatic foundation I've ever done. Woo. It's like blank canvas, natural Jesse. You can actually see a line. It feels really light. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's he heavy at all, even though I put on three layers, which is pretty crazy. But I have to say, it really does look like a crazy blank canvas right now. So I'm gonna have to do it on my other side of my face or I can't film anything else for today. Yeah, you can see that it is hiding the redness of my cheeks. And then also it's hid most of my freckles. So if you're looking for a medium to full coverage, or if you're looking for something that's super buildable, definitely this is really great. I love the fact that there are 30 different shades with all these different undertones so that you can really customize it. And always with foundations, you normally you should probably always have two on hand, one for the like spring, late fall, winter, up here in Canada anyways, because that's when we tend to, you know, go paler and then uh, in the summer when we have a bit of a tan you're going to want a, a shade to complement your tan. Now we're going to try the concealer. So the concealer I've been using lately is the Magic's Wand. I do like it but however it is a bit of a heavier concealer like it's a thicker because it's, it's also a foundation stick so it's been a little bit thicker than what I like. For under my eyes I do like something a little bit more thinned out. It's easier to, to kind of blend. I'm excited to try this out because I do want a new concealer. It is a full coverage concealer that's supposed to help brighten your under eye area for up to 24 hours. It's supposed to be creamy 
and weightless and it's supposed to be water resistant and vegan. There's 12 shades available and in addition to helping to blur your pores and fine lines, it also contains vitamin E, which again is something that we're familiar with, but it also contains barley extract. So then I had to look up, well, why is barley extract good for your skin? And so barley extract, according to L'OrealParisUSA.com, it contains a significant concentration of phenols, which are known to provide antioxidant activities. And what antioxidants do, it helps to protect protect your skin against harmful free radicals that are present in the environment, so like pollution and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you're interested in getting another product that is designed to help protect your skin against free radicals, I do suggest the anti-pollution anti-pollution the anti-pollution line that Avon carries there's a mask there is a pore strip as well as the serum and the serum is kind of fun because it goes on black I'll leave a link up here so that you can see my review on that if you ever have issues opening boxes like these stick a flat pair of tweezers underneath so much easier especially for like nail polishes so this shade is called macaron so it has the same type of look as the uh, Cashmere Complexion Foundation. It just looks like, it looks like the baby sister version of it. So let's give this a try and let's first test it out on the back of my hand. It's, huh? Oh, it's a very different shape, the applicator. I thought it'd be more of a brush or more of a doe foot. This is kind of like, it's flatter and... Oh, it's stiffer. There it is. Let's test it on the back of my hand. Oh, it's, it's thinner. Yeah, yeah, I think it's thinner than the foundation, which is nice. Okay, I like the texture of it. I already like the texture of it. So let's try this under my eyes. And then I've seen beauty gurus do this as well. Okay, now, now we're getting into contouring, which I'm not very good at. But if you want to learn how to contour with me, let me know and we can learn how to contour together, guys. All right, so let's do it under the eye first. Okay, already, I love this formula. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's nice. So much more blendable than the than the magic wand. Not that that's a, it's a, it's not a good one, but I, like it's just one step less that I have to deal with because I'm always in a rush. Yeah, I already, I love this formula already. All right, let's check this out. I need to put my eyes back on. Ooh. Okay. So what do you guys think? Concealer foundation. Naked Jessie. Okay, I legit love this concealer. This is like one of the best concealers I bought. I have tried and I have tried so many concealers. I'm loving this concealer. I'm loving the formula of this concealer. Whoa. The texture of it is perfect. It's not so thin that it's runny, but it's, it's not thick that I feel like it's not easily going like covering what I how do I say this I don't like it when it's too thick because then it looks cakey under my eyes and I don't like it too thin because I feel like it's not doing anything so I love this texture this is an amazing amazing concealer the foundation I like it would I use it every day no I probably I'll be completely honest with you I probably wouldn't use it every day because I'm not looking for a medium to a full coverage foundation every single day now it does feel very lightweight which is really nice and I would use it for if I'm going out and things like that it is really soft it's very light I mean I feel like I barely have anything on my skin and that is considering I put on three layers guys I have three layers of foundation on my face which is unheard of for me I never put that much foundation on my face the most I normally will ever do is foundation concealer and then I'll finish with a powder if I have a big event right um, besides my pancake days when I was you know like dancing like crazy for shows and stuff I mean, if you're looking for something that's medium to full coverage, this is great. I mean, I love how versatile all the shades are. I love how light it feels on my skin and it doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel cakey. And I mean, it it covers well, like it really does cover well. I love the fact that it has antioxidants already built into it. So there is another skincare benefit from wearing this foundation. Overall, it is a really nice foundation. I love how it feels, but just I probably wouldn't use it on a daily basis. This is something I would use for one Nelson does take me on a date when we are no longer in social distancing and homebound, which will hopefully, guys, if we all do our part, it will happen sooner than later, right? I'm going on a whole nother rant right now. Look at the grand scheme of things. This period of time is relatively short 
compared to the rest of our life. And we want to be able to have a rest of our lives and that for everyone else that we love in our life. So just stay home. Hence why I'm able to film more videos right now. But yeah, okay. Tangent done. Tangent done. The most exciting thing, definitely the concealer. I freaking love this concealer. I want to try it actually just how I would normally do it under my other eye where I just only use a little bit of concealer. So all I do is I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and dab it with my fingers. So this is the consistency that I normally would want from my concealer. It's just enough to cover a little bit. Yeah, no, I love it. 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 Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Can I say it enough? I love it. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah. It just brightens up under my eyes just enough. Oh my God, I love it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on my first impression and trial of a, probably one of my first full fi full coverage foundations I've tried in a very, 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 very long time of the cashmere complexion of both the foundation and of the concealer here. And if you guys do enjoy these review videos, make sure you do let me know. Give me a up down below and also if you're new to this channel click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification because i do post up new videos every single week and sometimes yes even two videos a week oh. and if you want to see all full 30 shades of the foundation as well as all 12 shades of the concealer make sure you do click my e-store link down below in the description box and you can just pop right over and check it out if you are interested in becoming a beauty boss and having your own online avon business for free with zero investments to start make sure you do once again jump on to my e-store link down below and click join avon thanks once again for watching guys i love you i'll see you in the next video bye it's about 3.30 in the morning. I'm about to wash my face. And look at that. It really did last. I mean, it wore off a little bit because I took a nap. But eyeshadow lasted. The mascara is not all over my face. The foundation lasted. All right, now wash my face and go to bed.